I'm going to be showing you how to set up homing and limits on a mill using an Apollo 1 and a mock motion control. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all of the axes are moving in the correct direction. So I set my operator panel here to X and then I jog positive and it goes in the positive, go negative and it goes in the negative. Then move to Y, goes positive, goes negative, then to Z and there it's going negative when it should be going positive and vice versa. So to reverse the, an axis on the Apollo 1, go to config and then homing slash limits and then check the reversed column on the Z axis. Hit OK. So now when we hit Z positive, it goes up and Z negative, it goes down. The first thing we can do before we home is to make sure our homing switches are enabled and configured. So if we come to config, ports and pins, then input signals. And on this machine we have three axes, X, Y, and Z. And so we've got the home on X, Y, and Z all enabled. And they're configured to a port and pin address. Um, and I've, I've checked, I've checked and uh, all of these do read in correctly. So when I hit the limit switch, it reads in. So I know that it will work. Next thing we're gonna do is home the system. So we come here to home. And normally you just hit home all and that'll do all the axes. But since we're setting it up, I'm gonna do each one individually. So we'll home the x-axis. And now what I'm watching for is on the machine is I'm wanting to make sure it's going in the right spot. On this machine, I want the table to home forward and to the left to put the home position in the back right corner of the table. For the z-axis, I want it to home up. So we're gonna be doing each axis here to make sure that they go in the right place. And there, the x-axis, x changed to green from red, so we know that that is homed. Now we're gonna home the y to make sure it's going in the right direction. And there it's homed. All right, lastly, Z. And it's going in the right, correct direction as well. Now that it's homed, you can see all three of these have green letters. If uh, all of the directions were already correct, but in the event that they weren't, if say the Z, in this case, homed down, we could go to config, homing slash limits, and then here on the Z axis, we would check under the home negative column. And I'm not gonna actually change that this time because it was correct, but that's where you would change it. Also here we have the speed percentage. So that's the percentage of the rapid feed rate that the, each axis will home at. So you can adjust that to optimize your process and just make it run smoothly and quickly. The last thing we're gonna do is set up soft limits. Uh, once your machine homes, you can set up limits in the software that will prevent you from actually hitting limit switches. So for example, if I jog it right now, so I go to the Z axis and I jog it up, I hit a limit switch. When you hit a limit switch, that E stops the system, so you'll lose your homing, so you lose your part coordinates and you have to rehome. So it's disruptive to your process. So setting up soft limits will help you avoid hitting limit switches and let the process run a lot more smoothly. So to set up soft limits, you come to config, homing slash limits, and then we've got our soft min, or soft min, soft max, and our slow zone. So the soft min and max values are the machine coordinates that we have for our system, and the slow zone is a ramp down zone, so when you jog into it, it it automatically slows the machine down to help to help you recognize that you're near the edge and it'll also actually stop it before it hits the switch. I already know what the uh, limits for this system is. The, uh, all of the machine coordinates are in negative so for our soft maxes on all three axes it's going to be zero. So I'll set all those to zero. I already figured out what the machine coordinates are for the limits on this so I'm just going to put them in. But you'll have to jog your machine around to figure out what the min and max values are on your machine coordinates to know what to put in here. So now we've got our soft, minutes, uh, soft limits in and I'm going to leave it at slow zone of 1. I hit OK. So before soft limits will work you have to home the system so I'm going to hit home all. And normally it's going to home the Z axis first, then the Y, and then the X. So now that our system's homed, I'm going to 
jog into the middle of the table. And so now, say I'm on the x-axis here, and I jog it, and then it slows down and stops when it hits the soft limit. If I jog the other side, it slows down and stops at the soft limit. I don't get a limit switch, and I get a soft limit system movement aborted. So there's no emergency condition, it just stops. The key point for setting up the soft limits is that the soft limits are set so that you don't hit the limit switch when you're jogging. Now you know how to configure axes, reverse directions, and set up soft limits and homing on your Apollo 1 system. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to find more about Mach Motion, go to our website, mockmotion.com.